So what's the difference between the course room and a session? Well, to be honest, not much. Once you get in the room, they really function the same way. But before you get in the room, there is a couple of things to consider. Uh, if you're going to be using a, a large session, so you have to have over 250 people, well, then you have to use a session. You'd have to create a session because the course room cannot facilitate over 250. And you're going to want to watch one of my future videos about those large sessions if this applies to you because there is some limitations. There's a lot of things to consider. So go watch that video if this is applicable to you. Otherwise, most people, I really just recommend using a course room. The course room is always open unless I choose to lock it. You can see right now it's unlocked. If I click it, I can choose to lock it. It's so kind of like a regular classroom. When I'm not in there, I can lock it. No one can go in there. When I'm ready to use it again the next day, I log in, I come back here, I unlock it, and now myself and others can go in the room. A session is only open for the time I specify. If I was to create a session, I'd call it whatever I wanted. I can have all the same settings we saw in the previous video, but I also get to choose when it starts, when it ends. If I want to repeat, technically I can also have it never ending. It can be open forever, though I then don't have the option to lock it. And again, I could have a repeat every, I don't know, Tuesday, Thursday, weekly, whatever. I just strongly recommend not using both. If you're in one room and you have another room open, Probably some people are going to end up in the wrong room. It's going to happen. So stick with one or the other generally. And oh, by the way, you can see you can end on a certain number of occurrences. So after 10 classes or on a certain date. One of the disadvantages, though, of the course room or the creating a session is you only get to enter up to 60 minutes early. The 60 minutes before start time applies to you and the students. So you can't go in early and load files, or at least not that early. With the course room, I could go load files today. They're still there next week. So I can refer back to things I already talked about. And I like this course room because if I'm going to meet with students for office hours or just someone emails me, can I meet one on one? Everyone knows to go to the course room. It's simple. People aren't going to the wrong room. I don't have to create a session specifically to meet with one student and get a bunch of emails saying, what's that about? So I usually advocate using the course room unless, again, it's over 250 people, then you have to use a session. One other scenario where I would recommend a session is if you're going to be using the guest access a lot. So once I save, in this case, what I have is each session would have its own guest link. So if I created a bunch of sessions, each one would have its own guest link, whereas the course room, the guest link doesn't change. So if I'm going to be using this all term and I want to have a public event where I'm inviting people outside the university, sharing this guest link publicly, remember, it's anonymous entry. So I'd have to be careful if people come in and start doing inappropriate things. Well, maybe I only want to share the guest link for a specific session in that case. So if you're going to do a public thing, maybe creating a session is the best approach. But otherwise, probably course room is easier for most people.